Welcome to GNN 10. I'm your anchor, Isaac Frazier, and this is the GNN News. Well, my name's Michael Scon, and I'm here to say I'm about to do the Scon in a major way. Eighth graders, if you are interested in being part of the Wahai dance team, there is a mandatory meeting on Monday, May 7th from 4 to 4.30 in the Fletcher Room off the Wahai gym. Girls interested in playing no soccer next year. At Wall High, there is a parent and parent players meeting on Monday, May 14 at 6.30 in, Wall, in the Wall High Large Gym. Today, baseball and softball have games against Horse Heaven at Garrison. Eighth graders interested in being part of the swim team next year, there is an informational meeting Thursday during the second lunch in the library. Today, tennis has a match at Ochoa. Students, you can still get a yearbook. Purchase one in the main office for $30. Get up, double pun day! I don't trust these stairs. They're always up to something. My friend of mine told me that she didn't understand cloning. I told her, that makes two of us. <laughs> Do you play checkers? Kingman. Sign up for the Library Checkers Tournament. All players win a prize. Do you play chess? Do you want to learn how to play chess? Queen to e5. Join the new chess league. Are you interested in code combat? <laughs> if any of these things interest you, sign up to the library this week. Good morning, Garrison. It's been a long time since I've been on TV. You may have thought that L Squared Scholars went away, but in fact, L Squared Scholars are alive and well at Garrison, and I'm here to report on what's been going on. I want to go back to March, because March was actually a really big month for L Squared Scholars. Personally, I was pretty busy with the career day with the eighth graders, but teachers were nominating students, and at the end of the month, Mr. Elizondo met with them with a really cool recap of all that they had done. So we heard from Mrs. Wooters, and Mr. Condi, and Mrs. Just, Ms. Golden, Mr. Bertram, and Ms. Ramsey in March. Here's some of the things they said about these outstanding students, that they had a positive attitude, showed a readiness to learn, Perseverance when faced with a challenge showed classroom leadership, peer support and assistance, role model behaviors, dedication, determination, willingness to ask questions, the acceptance of feedback, the use of new strategies, teamwork, problem solving, sharing of knowledge, the use of encouragement in class, active growth mindset orientation, mastering of skills, exceptional effort and hard work, diligently and consistently. So who were these superstar L Squared scholars in March? They were Adrian Martinez, Carolyn Alonzo, Devin Evans, Helen Chris, Whitney Griffith, Isaac Marsh, Caden Trumbull, Lily Wiley, Oscar Sandoval, Riley Carlson, Sean Tinder, and Seth Ogden. And now we're at the end of April, and I'm in the AVID room. Totally awesome room, college banners, work everywhere. And I got to work with Mr. Fish's eighth grade AVID class in April on a really special project. It was the career showcase that was sponsored by Gear Up through WSU Tri-Cities. And everybody in this class worked on a presentation related to a career that they were interested in. And from this entire class, six students stepped forward and they decided that they wanted to audition to present on Friday, April 27th in front of 12 other schools, an audience and three judges to hopefully win one of three prizes, 
top prize a Chromebook, second and third place a uh, graphing calculator from Texas Instruments. So my L squared scholars for April are these six students, Adrian Bazan Garcia, Jacob Carlisle, Zachary Shab, Chandra Fine, Amanda Verkist, and Rihanna Ridgeway. These kids really showed us in April what it means to take a challenge, step out of your comfort zone, do something really exceptional. And I'm really happy to announce to you that one of these six students was one of the prize winners on Friday night. Congratulations to Adrian Basan Garcia, who got third place out of 12 schools, and we are super proud of him. Mr. Elizondo was there, I was there, members of his family, and here at Garrison, we shout out to you, Adrian, and to all the L Squared Scholars. One more month, May, will you be the next L Squared Scholar? These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner is 374 pages long and is science fiction. Major Tarver Menson, war hero, was only 18 when his heroic actions shot him through the military ladder. Lilac LaRoe was the daughter of the richest businessman in the universe. Under her father's watchful eye, she lived a lonely life cooped up in a mansion. As Lilac grew up, she was allowed to travel the universe on her, father, on her father's luxury liner, the Icarus. As the ship started to quake and shake, the chaos separated Lilac from her bodyguards and threw her at Tarver. The two managed to escape the chaos and found their way to an escape pod. Once they escaped, Icarus came crashing to an unknown planet. After days of hopefully searching for a way off the planet, they found no help and no survivors. Stranded, they had to rely on each other to make it off the planet alive. I give this book an 8 out of 10 for constant action and keeping the plot moving. If you love sci-fi, this is the perfect book for you. I'd like to give a shout out to all the people that I promised a shout out. I really hope you guys can tackle the football meeting. This was Isaac Fraser with GNN 10. You jump to the right and you shake a hand And you jump to the left and you shake that hand You meet new friends, you tie some yarn And that's how you do the scorn You jump to the right and you shake a hand And you jump to the left and you shake that hand you Meet new friends, tie that yarn That's how you do the scorn You jump to the right and you shake that hand